What's up guys, War here, and today I'm bringing you another T16 farming build for Diablo Season 27 in the PTR. Now, I'm bringing you a wizard magic missile build ever since they released the power for the new magic missile to be 20 and then they reduced it to 10. I've been wanting to have a magic missile build that is just magic missile, solely magic missile, nothing else, no having to rely on firebirds or anything like that. So we came up with why not LOD? Why not Legacy of Dreams Magic Missile T16 farming build? Let's try it. Plus, they gave us the Mirror Ball, which increases two extra missiles and 500% increased damage. So, we put this build together. I'm going to show you guys, and I think it's going to be pretty dang good for T16 farming if you are a wizard main in Diablo. So, let's just jump right in here. Let me showcase this freaking build to you guys. Better. So you guys are going to see the build. The build is just... I'm getting feared right off the bat. What the hell? As you guys can see, the build the build is just so cool. You guys know Magic Missile by now. The build is just absolutely fantastic. You're mainly going to be using just Magic Missile to destroy everything on the map, which is great. All you're doing is running around. You're using teleport for, you know, for a lot of mobility. Increase of, you know, on top of all the movement, which is fantastic. All the movement speed bonuses that we're going to have in here. We got a couple other things on the build just for some added defense. Like we have uh, diamond skin and then of course storm armor which is fantastic. Just a deal in proc like our halo to have a little bit more added defense. Because wizards even with just magic missile is really really... You know most wizard builds are just not... They're not as tanky. So, and with, with Legacy of Dreams, like, it helps, but they're just not as tanky as other things. So, and you know, it's great because you don't have to rely on using Firebirds or anything else with this build, which is just great. So, one thing I do want to mention, guys, if you're going to be playing Wizards this next season in Season 27, any LOD build, as you guys know, it's always tough to gear LOD. That's probably the biggest problem with the entire build. Or any Legacy of Dreams build. Because it's just, it's so hard to, to like get all the pieces that you need for it. And to get them quickly, especially in the start of a new season. So I do want to add that. So I don't want Wizard players to be like, oh man, you know, I'm trying to play this build. It's going to take a little bit of time to get this build and all the pieces. And, you know, it you might be end up playing, you know, DMO or something like that for a while to farm all the rest of your stuff before actually getting this build. But I think this is going to be a really good T16 farming build. Oh my god, why am I getting feared? I'm the wizard, not you. But I think it's going to be a really good T16 farming build for the uh, for Season 27 for Wizard mains and Wizards players. Again, guys, like I said at the start of the video, like I wanted to play Magic Missiles, and I think you know they got shit on the most when it came to like the changes in that patch. So, I wanted Magic Missiles to be a really good thing. Wow, he drugged me in as I killed him. Let's go. But you guys can see the build is absolutely crazy, man. It's, it's super cool. You actually have something where you can focus on just Magic Missile doing absolutely everything. So, I wanted to showcase this build because I think it's going to be great for T16 players. So, this is what we have for the build, guys. <clears throat> you can see we just decimated that T16. We're going to go over the build really, really quick. As you guys know, we, how are we doing these videos? Everything's going to change, you know, maybe coming in Season 27 after everything is out and all, all is said and done. But let's break it down real quick. So, you need Legacy of Dreams. You need all Legendary or Ancient Armor. No set pieces, as you guys know. So, starting with the head, we got the Visage for... Everything is going to be geared towards fire. Then we have Pauldrons for just an extra Fatal. This really helps. We got to change the Familiar Damage on there. But uh, Mage Fist. And then we have... Depth Diggers for primary uh, skills increase uh, is increased damage because we're using Magic Missile only. We have Illusionary Boost just to go through absolutely any, anything we don't want to be hindered in any way. The the Shame of Delzir for increased attack speed and Arcane Power Restore. Now, I went with a, uh, the Aquila here because I wanted the damage reduction by 50%, guys. Most of the time, your Arcane Power is never going to dip, so this should always be up. But if you wanted to kind of pump out a little bit more damage... You could do Cinder Coat instead for increased fire damage and reduced cost. But, you know, I kind of like the, the build is already squishy, so I wanted as much defense as possible. So I went with Aquilas. 
and then the blood bracer for increased potency of your shields and then our weapons of course we got fragment of destiny for the just uh signature spells attack faster and deal triple damage and then of course mirror ball with the ability for 10 magic missiles and 500 percent increased damage our rings and gems scorch necklace for double damage with legacy of dreams of course Rachel's Ring of Larceny for increased speed. Always is pretty much on almost anything that I ever build for T16 with Boon of the Quarter. And then uh, I did Convention of Elements here for just the elemental bonus on top of Simplicity Strength for increased damage with your primary skills. Very, very easy, guys. In the cube, you have some flexibility here, as always. But we have Echoing Fury to get increased movement speed and uh, attack speed bonus. Uh, Arm Guards for increased speed. And then Halo to help add some more defense because of storm armor so into our skills we have of course magic missile uh everything's fire based so we got magic missile here for fire then we got black hole you could obviously switch this out you don't have to run black hole at all you could change it to something else familiar or another defensive spell uh then we got teleport wormhole to be able to get around fast storm armor scramble for increased movement speed diamond skin sleek shell when you activate it, your movement speed is increased by 30%, just even more movement speed. And then, of course, magic weapon deflection, which is just great. Skills or passives, power hungry, additional damage, farther enemies are away. Illusionist for increased movement speed. I went with Arcane Dynamo here uh, just for some additional damage because you're shooting so many magic missiles. And then, of course, Galvanizing Ward for... Uh, just even more defense okay so that's the build guys that is the wizard t16 farming build magic missile build which i think is really really cool and it's really pleasing to the eye it's very easy to use so if you're a wizard main definitely consider this for your t16 pushes although i still think that firebirds is going to be better or even maybe dmo is going to be better but this build is really really fun and really really cool for t16 farming it's just a little different so if you wanted magic missiles to work as much as i did for the season try this enjoy it and let me know what you think guys think about it down in the comments below if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like uh if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe all the support you guys have been giving me uh in the diablo 3 community has been just amazing so thank you guys so much for all the love and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace